How's it going everybody? It's Jeff Chrysler, a detail enthusiast, here with your next episode of my BN1 restoration. So as you can see here, I've redone my front seats. Um, just one of the perks of being an upholsterer who does Healy seats all the time. I've now been able to source uh, authentic Connolly leather where I didn't have it before. So I've redone a set of seat covers for myself in the authentic Connolly leather. And they, they actually, if you ask for it, they can supply you with a certificate of authenticity. So I've got that to go along with the car just to add some more provenance. So beyond that, the car is still away and at the body shop getting the paintwork done, but um, it's moving right along. They're assembling the body now. And so this week I've been able to collect the painted windshield posts and assemble uh, the windscreen. So we'll be getting into that a little bit later. Uh, meanwhile, I've been working on some things like the seats and door panels and uh, some of the lighting as well. So as you can see here, I'm just uh, uh, setting up, pre-assembling my headlight assemblies. So I've got some, I was able to source some original uh, Lucas 700 uh, period headlamps. Uh, these are the kind that you put the bulb in, not the sealed beam. And these, uh, these were actually standard on all uh, Canadian import Heelys. Um, so nice to have a set of these, virtually new, and I've just got some new bulbs here. And uh, of course they install, they only go one direction. You gotta find the notch, which is right on the top here. And that up, she drops down. And then of course for the, uh, the new pigtails that I got, which are as original, so I've, I've twisted them um, and then taped both ends as original. That's how they were in my car. And then uh, on the inside, I bought a separate um, plug-in um, right here so that I can use this style of plug-in for the bulbs. Uh, what When I bought these headlights, they had a different style plug-in that uh, these wires were actually uh, wired into it with bullet connectors. But um, yeah, anyway, decided to switch to this because the pigtails that I bought came with this end on the inside. You never see it anyway, it's buried in there. So I just bought the adapter. And there you have it. Proper Lucas 700 bulb, all wired and ready to install on the car. I've got the new rubber seal, which is correct for the early BN1s. And uh, that's my original uh, brass nuts and the little plastic caps. Those are my original ones still left. Um, there we go. And I've got a, an original pair of chrome uh, surrounds that have the proper little screw in the end, so I can finish them off with this. There you have it, uh, with the uh, original chrome surround that I was able to source a pair of. Uh, the little chrome screw in the bottom. And uh, there you go, proper original Luca 700 headlamp setup. Uh, standard for all Canadian import Heelys. And uh, I've also prepared these pigtails and joined them on to the uh, uh, front uh, marker lamps. So those are ready to just pop in the front and install. And they've got the uh, frosted clear lenses, which I have in here. There's the tail light ones that have to be wired in position on the car because they. Um, and then yeah, there's the lenses for the front marker lamps ready to go on. And the other headlamp. So, when the car comes home, it'll be smooth sailing, getting all this stuff installed. Okay, so about to assemble my windshield finally. Um, as you can see, I got my windshield posts back. They're all nice, freshly painted, beautiful. Um, so I've put in the uh, pins. Those are my original pins, just cleaned up and plated and uh, reinstalled and uh, of course with these pins I put a little bit of this uh, sill glide on the pins which repels water and is also a bit of a lubricant so it should last a long time and um, so I've got my seal rubber that's gonna go all the way around the glass it just wraps around and gets 
trapped in the C channeling all the way around. So first step I gotta do is assemble these guys to the posts because the posts kind of go on first and then the top and bottom rails attach to the posts. So I've already got these brackets pre-installed. So now I've got to use these screws here to install these to the posts. So we'll go about that. And then uh, once I start assembling this, I'm, I've got my little oil can here. I'm going to soak the rubber all the way around as I squish it down evenly in, uh, in the channel and then uh, cut, cut off the excess afterwards with the exacto knife. One thing I am gonna do um, as I join these chrome strips to the posts, I'm gonna use a little bit of clear silicone in the join just to prevent water from going through there. Uh, every little bit counts, so just add that. Now, also worth noting, because this is freshly back from the paint shop, I'm pre-tapping all of the, uh, the holes going along here. And also worth noting, um, all uh, Healy 100 windscreen posts were individually numbered. So uh, there's a number there underneath the chrome, and there's a number here, and they correspond to, you'll find that same number on the chrome windshield post that uh, bolts to the car. So they were all individually numbered and paired so that uh, each car had its own unique set that fit that car. Okay, so I wrestled it all together and she's looking really nice. So as you can see, I've put in this lower seal as well. Um, I haven't cut the ends yet because I wanna hold it up. I'm gonna bring in the uh, actual chrome uh, base pieces in and see exactly the angle, but uh, that's a profile that uh, I had a paper cut out here from an original, so I was able to just hold it up to it like this, draw it on there. But like I say, I'm going to compare it to the to the base before I actually cut. Measure twice, cut once. So, but um, yeah. Uh, it was a real bear uh, trying to get these two cinched down all the way along. It's, uh, we got her there eventually. Um, what I had to do was stand it up on its end and just hammer along with my uh, plastic mallet. And she eventually went on. But um, yeah, that was the trickiest part is getting... I was able to get the ends done up, no problem. But then in the middle, it was, you know really hard to get it to go down over the glass and get the rubber seal in there properly. But we got her, and uh, she's looking really good. So we can bring that into the body shop now, and they're just, they've are just they been fitting up all the body panels, as I'll show you in these pictures. So next, before they put those uh, front fenders on, we're going to mount the uh, windshield posts on the car and just test fit this and in both positions so that if there's any shimming or working of the shroud or fender for the, uh, the feet on either the lower or upper side, we can do that now. We know that it's going to fit in both positions before we do final paint and assembly. So, that's what we'll be doing next week. As you can see here, the notorious wrinkle that these lower seals often have. Um, so, I can actually pull this out of here a bit. So, I'm going to be reefing it out as much as I can and uh, warming it up with the heat gun to try and get it stretched in that position. And uh, so, just pull it, warm it up and hold it until it cools and hopefully we can get it to stay, get that wrinkle out of there. So a few other things to note, uh, made sure to put my uh, 
the screws that are the nicest condition on the top because those ones are visible in the end. They're the only four, two there and two there. And then these go through here. And so early BN1s have, you can see there's a flat on it. Early BN1s have that flat pointed up, whereas later BN1s and BN2s have it uh, horizontal with the actual screen posts. So you can see mine is pointed to the top which is a little early BN1 feature. Okay, so there she is, all fully assembled. Uh, the only thing that's missing is those little chrome uh, curved washers there. But um, she's got the feet uh, fit up with the links and uh, ran in these studs in the bottom and then the link goes in the top. And uh, yeah, everything's fitting nice, operating smoothly. You can see there's that little uh, right-hand thread screw to prevent the knob. These are my original knurled head knobs, um, which is, this is, I guess, the larger, I'm not sure if this is the coarser or finer version, but uh, these are my original ones anyway. And there's the other one. Again, right hand thread on both sides there. So it's looking really good. Can't wait to fit it up to the car. Hopefully everything is in alignment. Um, this I, I'm still kind of playing with. I can still pull it out a bit further. It's not super loose, but I think I'm gonna do a little more research before I call it a day on that one. Now, one more little detail feature I bought. Um, just for driving purposes, um, I bought these little side view mirrors. Um, you can get them through a number of suppliers and uh, it comes consists of the mirror and this little bracket and another knob. You can see here's my original knob, um, which with much finer knurling on it than this new one. Um, but yeah, so you just take out the little screw and your knob um, using the same existing pin and you can run this on uh, with a couple washers so you can get it tight. And that's your side view mirror. And there's no uh, drilling holes into the body fenders for side views. So yeah, you can use these for driving. And then when you get to the concours, you just swap these out for your original knobs and you're good to go. And there you go. Front view of the finished windscreen. So, very happy to have that together today. That's one big step. Just took my time and uh, it's not an easy job. It's not for the faint of heart. But um, yeah, just some oil on that rubber to help it slide in. And also the oil will help expand the rubber in the end too, which is good. Um, and yeah, just had a nice continuous wrap around. I had a, uh, I was able to actually bevel the edges and about a quarter of an inch either side and overlap in the center. Uh, and so I got a really nice join in the middle that shouldn't leak. And yeah, so we'll fit it up to the car, put these brackets in the car first and I can just run those out and remove the, from the brackets. But um, yeah, and get her happy upright and then fit the lower feet uh, to the car and just work it and just make sure everything's going to line up okay. So that is next week's task. Until then, I'm Jeff Chrysler, a detail enthusiast, and that is how to assemble a windshield.